So we're going to do part two of how do you raise the frequency of your house. Again, you can see I love Crystal. Crystal can help raise a frequency even if you don't have thousands of them like I do. This guy just wanted to be in the video, so he's sitting in my hand here. It's kind of a scepter, isn't he cute? So it's five dollars in a bucket at Quartzite. Okay, so you get a new house. I remember what would happen when we bought this house. I still felt like I was bathing, bathing in the other lady's shower. I mean, it didn't feel like my home. I could still feel her presence in the house. And this happens whether or not you feel like you're any kind of a psychic. You can feel the difference. Even your animals might feel a little uncomfortable. So how do you make it your home? First of all, you need to really clean it. I mean, top to bottom, spick and span, pay to have somebody come in, clean the floors, re-clean the carpets. And if you have to replace those carpets, do so. Declutter. If you're moving in, analyze, do I really need all this stuff? Probably you don't. It's a great opportunity to make things a little less heavy in your house and you'll feel lighter. One of the feng shui cures is to move 27 objects if you want to bring new things into your life. Well, if you're moving in, you're moving 27 objects. So you've cleaned your house, you've cleaned the carpet, you've decluttered. Okay, how does it feel? Not quite there yet. Get out some sweet orange oil. Put it in a little spray bottle and start spraying it in every room. The citrus and the orange oil is immediately going to make that room feel clean. The astringent nature of sweet orange oil is very, very cleansing. You'll feel the difference. And then if you feel like one particular room is not as cool as the other rooms or it feels even a little sad, get some lavender. Put some drops of lavender in the spray bottle with some water. Spray a lavender in that room. You can give healing to the room if that's what it needs. Make sure you clean the outside of your house. Make your yard neat, spick and span. Put flowers in. Flowers are God's magic wands. They make things feel better. Another thing you can do is you can put a fountain in your house and if you discover that the water in your fountain turns black, this happened to one of my um, friends, she put this fountain in her house. She knew her house was negative and that fountain turned black and every day she changed the water. And the fountain began to slowly but surely absorb all the negativity in the house. It took a couple of weeks to change that water every single day. She had beautiful stones, she washed everything. It was a lot of work. But after a while, the fountain wasn't black anymore. There was no sooty darkness in it. It felt wonderful. Another wonderful tool, super tool, are fresh flowers. Lots of grocery stores, farmers markets sell flowers. Grow them in your yard if you can just, even just pots on a, you have just a balcony. Grow flowers. Fresh cut flowers or house plants that are easy to care for more than just cactus. Something that's beautiful to look at. Flowers absorb negativity too. If you have to change the water frequently, do so. If the flowers die, as soon as you put them in your house, then your house is pretty negative. Keep changing those flowers out. They're doing their job. They're more than just looking pretty. Another wonderful thing that you can do is prayer. When you say your prayers every night, fill your house with beautiful white light. Ask God to bless your house every single day. Make it your spiritual practice. Spiritual practice means that you're basically practicing being spiritual. You're bringing down the white light of God into your home. It doesn't matter what your faith is. Anybody of any faith can do this. And you're inviting the light of the divine to feel every square inch, every atom in your house and your yard. You're asking that your home and your surroundings be completely blessed. And you can't do this one time. You have to do it time after time after time, day after day. Another really wonderful tool, play beautiful music. Mozart, the classics. Play music that makes you happy. Sing out loud. If you go to the grocery store, Leave your stereo on so that you can have this music beginning to penetrate the walls of your house day after day after day. And what you're going to do is slowly but surely you're raising the frequency of your dwelling. And what happens when you raise a frequency? I'll tell you that next time.